everyone, it's CV. <laughs> As a follow-up to my Substat counting video, I'm now going into the discussion of crit value or CV what it is, why it's important, but also why using it as your ultimate standard for evaluating artifacts or artifact worth can be misleading. Because of how much it's hyped, some may have a skewed perception of CV being the be-all and all of artifact quality, thereby leading to neglecting other important substats as well. So I want to reframe how to view CV and create well-rounded builds overall. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can check it out first or after this video. If you're new to my channel, I make a lot of Genshin guides to help players build and play their waifus and husbandos well, so if you want more of that content, clicking that subscribe button would support me a lot. Anyway, let's begin. I think many of you are already familiar with the concept of CV, so feel free to skip to the next chapter, but here's a quick primer if you aren't. If you notice how crit stats roll, it always follows a 1 is to 2 ratio of crit rate and crit damage respectively. For example, a max leveled crit circlet has 31.1% crit rate or a 62.2% crit damage. The crit damage is exactly twice the crit rate. Even in substats, the highest crit rolls you can get are 3.9 crit rate and 7.8 crit damage, again perfectly mirroring the 1 is to 2 pattern. Knowing that, we can get their proportionate intrinsic value, which we can now refer to as crit value or CV. Since crit rate value measurements come up as half of crit damage value, we will multiply crit rate by 2 while crit damage remains the same, to get their equal crit value. For instance, 3.9 is the actual crit rate, but the crit value of it is 3.9 times 2, which is 7.8. Again, the formula is simply crit rate times 2, plus crit damage equals CV. Let's compute this artifact's CV. Crit rate 6.6 .6 times 2 equals 13.2, plus the 23.3 crit damage is 36.5 CV. For the second artifact sample, try computing how much it is. If you answered 24.9 CV, then you're right. But you can also apply it to a character's overall crit stats. For example, this Deluke has a 287 CV total. Since crit stats are given so much importance, it's become the trend to use CV ranges to measure an artifact's worth and even a DPS character's level of investment. This post I found from Reddit is one example of how individual artifacts are rated from decent to unicorn ones. But while crit values are of course very important, I believe that using it as the only metric of artifact quality and character investment can lead to neglecting other stats like attack, ER, and sometimes EM that are actually just as important. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, since I've made many videos on this already, let me use Energy Recharge to show my point. ER is unfortunately often neglected in favor of getting the highest crit stats possible. But what we have to remember is that for characters and team rotations that rely on burst uptime, they need sufficient ER to achieve that. That damage is measured over time, which is the truer basis of damage per second rather than a single moment in time. Let me try using a simple DPS comparison. Assume that a character will be able to do 100,000 damage over a 20 second rotation period. And in order to achieve this, they need their burst to be consistently ready, which means having enough energy recharge. You have the dilemma of allocating more CV or ER. Case 1. Adding the CV gets you 115,000 damage, a very nice 15% damage increase, but lengthens the rotation period to 24 seconds in order to keep their burst going. Divide the damage over 24 seconds and the result is the DPS is equal to 4,791. Case 2. Adding the ER keeps your 100,000 damage, but enables you to effectively achieve a 20 second rotation smoothly. Applying the same formula, the DPS is equal to 5,000. So in this comparison, it's actually a DPS loss if you have too little ER, even if you get more CV. Sure, you might get bigger damage screenshot numbers, but you lose out on seamless rotations, burst uptime, and damage per second. This mindset can also be applied when we evaluate artifacts. 
As some would say, CV is what you should use to measure an artifact's worth. Honestly, I used to think this way too. However, getting a good grasp of Genshin's mechanics and optimization tips has led me to reframe my perspective on CV and realize how using it as the only standard is overly simplistic. While the CV from substats is a standard for measuring artifact value, it is only a part. A good or even better artifact can just as well be one that has well-rounded stats. Automatically having a much higher CV does not mean that it is superior than an artifact with more equitably distributed substats. Let's compare these two sample artifacts. Assume that we're equipping it on a conventional attack scaling DPS character. At first glance, most players are more likely to gravitate to the left one because it has 36.5 CV and the one on the right has 24.9 CV. And while that's true, it doesn't mean that the artifact on the right is a bad artifact. One, for the simple reason that attack and ER are still valuable stats, and two, it actually has a higher substat roll count than the higher CV one, which in many cases still results in better damage, even with Bennett or Noblesse buffs. There is certainly a threshold at which you can have too much ER on a character, but if you haven't reached that yet, then ER rolls can actually be more favorable. There's also a threshold where attack percent substats will have smaller returns than adding crit substats. But that attack threshold is actually pretty high, and even past that point, the difference in DPS between a crit roll and an attack roll is pretty minimal. Now, adding Bennett and other attack buffers into the mix will make crit rolls obviously have better value than attack rolls. But again, the difference is in single digit percentages. Basically, don't trash an artifact with attack percent or even ER rolls just because the crit rolls didn't come out as high as you hoped, because those other substat increases are still valuable. Again, if you want to know how to count substats and artifacts, check out my previous video if you haven't yet. Now, what else can we use CV for? CV is actually more valuable if we want to understand how to optimize crit ratio. Even if we have a high CV on a character, let's say 300, that does not automatically mean that their crit stats are optimized in distribution. Between these two cases, both of them have 300 CV. However, one actually yields more DPS than the other. And likely, most of you already know which one. Yes, it's the second case. Why is that? Well, you have probably heard the maxim of aim for a 1 is to 2 crit ratio. That's precisely why the second case is better and there's a very good reason behind it. Assuming it hits 100 times, the first case does 200k total damage, while the second one does 212.5k, a 6% increase. While crit damage numbers are the big numbers, don't forget that your total damage is an accumulation of both critical and non-critical hits. So you can't just compare how big your crit damage is, rather you also have to consider the non-crit damage over time. In this case, the proven consistent ratio of the best damage per second is a 1 is to 2 crit ratio. Anything that skews it results in a damage loss from small to large. You can try substituting different crit values and distributions for yourself with the simplified formula to see how it holds up. This table is a good summary of how overall damage is produced considering the crit rate along the columns and the crit damage along the rows. You'll notice that the sweet spot, that diagonal over the green area, appears when the crit damage is twice that of the crit rate, or at least close to it. If you skew the ratio left or right of the diagonal, then the damage output actually decreases bit by bit. Properly distributing CV, no matter how high it is, between crit rate and crit damage is just as important. If we include attack, EM, and ER into the mix, then proper distribution over these different stats is key to optimizing your damage. However, that's a different topic for another day, and our current focus is CV. I've seen some people say that with a build of 90 crit rate to 180 crit damage, the crit rate is too much, and just add more crit damage instead at the expense of crit rate. If you want the damage per screenshot, then that's true. But again, the 1 is to 2 ratio is ultimately better total damage output, and for me, it would be my preference if you can achieve it. 
This is why the minimum recommended crit rate to crit damage I put in my guides is 50 to 100 or 60 to 120 for sub DPSs or DPSs. So for main DPSs, something much more well invested would be closer to a base crit of 70 to 140. Putting a crit weapon can of course affect the final ratio. For example, a crit damage weapon can land you closer to a 70 to 200 crit stat and that's also perfectly fine. I guess if there's one takeaway, having to explain these goes to show that we've really been conditioned by insanely huge one-time numbers from unrealistic crit showcases, forgetting that damage consistency over time matters a lot as well. So that's going to be all for this video's stat optimization discussion. The next video in this series will talk more about attack and crit damage and how much better one really is over the other, so let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to that. But for now, if this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more Genshin Impact guides and content, and I will see you all soon. Take care!